Still undefeated, here is Hamzat Shimaya making the walk tonight as a middleweight. A lot of people think eventually he's going to be a UFC champion and he's got a big fight in front of him tonight. I mean, this guy's a monster, you know, from his mindset to the way that he competes. Hamzat Shimaya is one of those guys that passes the eye test. The moment you laid eyes on him, you said this kid has something special about him. He has great wrestling. He has great striking. He has great cardio. The guy has it all. And I'm so excited to once again watch him compete and sit here in his seat and call his fight. The work ethic has never been an issue, perhaps the diet at times when it comes to getting down to 170 pounds. But this man is a problem and ready to impose his will here tonight. Hamzat Chimaya enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. Representing Sydney, Australia, he was born in New Zealand. Robert the Reaper Whitaker. He has put together one of the greatest winning streaks in the history of this middleweight division and did to Yoel Romero what few men have been able to do. Few men can stand across from Romero and just even live to tell the story right. of fighting him in the octagon. Robert Whitaker has done that twice and gotten his hand raised in the rematch. Whitaker is a truly, truly phenomenal mixed martial artist has a traditional background, but he also has a wrestling knowledge that is very underrated. He does not just get taken down, he's able to get back to his feet very well, and he has cardio for days. He's truly one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. And he's a grappler at his core. We talk oh, yeah. so much about his boxing, but the guys at Gracie Jiu-Jitsu at Smeaton Grange will tell you, this guy started as a grappler, still grapples in the gi during training camp. Robert Whitaker, back in, ideally, in a big way for him here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one. Go. Well, well, he has officially taken the sport by storm. The bona fide welterweight contender, Kamsa Shimaya, undefeated and appears to be on a trajectory to future championship greatness. How will he approach this stylistic challenge here tonight? A lot of people feel like he'll take the fight to the canvas, but as you know, he's got a lot of confidence in his hands. We'll see if he can find the power stroke early in this round. Finds his range with the jab. Cliffs on the elbow. Outside the bottom tip. Nice. Nicely done. Back in the clinch. Look for him to hang on his opponent's head and try to wear at his gas tank. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. 
All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Robert Whittaker. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Whitaker. Oh, big shots from the top. Whitaker getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Mm, that was nice. This is where he wants to be. Shumayev's going for the sub here. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Fifteen seconds. Clustering up now. And now the damage is about to start. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Robert Whittaker. Stop. Round two next. All right, take a seat, bud. Good round. I need more of that this round, okay? I want you to be a little more active with your punches on the ground. Let's not let the ref stand this up. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and bound as the round came to an end. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. And that one certainly found the target. And yet another hook connected there by Whitaker. Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. She might have gone for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Oh! Oh, zip right in! Beautiful leg kick lands. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Big double leg left change. Very active off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the block. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. These ground strikes are starting to add up. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Back mount now. Shimaev's in half court. Oh, right into mouth. Oh, 
Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. That's in pretty deep. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Ground and pound strike there now. And the Stop. horn sounds on round two. from the lip. Another strike to the head lands. Shoot. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, big shot land. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but on the other Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Stuffs the takedown without issue. Whitaker's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Kamzachi might have gone with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Takedown defense is there. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's oh, feeling the All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that round is in the books. Whitaker's corner has some work to do. They're going to take a look at that lip. Hopefully the cut man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. He landed it perfectly. Perfect 
Print the shirts, ground and pound. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Adjustment, yep. Whitaker's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Side control now. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Shemayev's back in full now. Oh, it's getting very, very deep. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Good work from the top here by Robert Whittaker. Another strike gets through from the top position. Jake, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. Taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. And it hurt his opponent very bad. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you get him Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now. But his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Seconds. Oh, horn sounds for the end of round four. And there's the horn. Huge knockdown in that round. Great round from Whitaker. Really paying off. You floored that guy. This round, let's go back out there and look to finish him off. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. It is the fifth and final round. Here's the buff with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 14 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new 
UFC middleweight champion of the world, Hamzat Boris Chimaev. All right, still undefeated, Hamzat Chimaev, your winner by knockout here tonight.